We now look at a way of connecting the wires up to the decoder chip. I'm going to start with a piece of copper clad onto which the rear LEDs are mounted and in each of the spaces we'll now drill a very very fine hole. Having made the holes in the copper clad I've now actually threaded through a number of wires and all these will actually go to the decoder chip. The hole sensor is inserted into three holes made in the off side of the vehicle. At this stage you do not want to fix it too clearly as there you need to allow a little bit of vertical movement to ensure that the hole sensor is operating correctly. The wires from the roof lights will now be connected to the copper clad. So they will need trimming tinning and then soldering to the copper clad in their right positions. Before fitting we'll do a final check just to make sure that all the lights are actually working. Once all the wires have been soldered then the rear light cluster is then glued in place. These wires here will eventually go to the chip A number of wires can be soldered directly to the DC car decoder and if you are skilled you can actually attach to each of these small points two or three wires. However, for some things such as the indicator which has, have, do have two wires, I like to make a link wire which I solder initially directly to the chip. So this is the link wire that will go to the left indicator. I've done one for the whole sensor and I'm about to do this one which is for the right indicator. I've made a small junction plate out of a bit of a copper clad sleeper and this is where we will connect up the, um, the positive common and the indicators here and here. I've now threaded the wires through from the rear light cluster through the battery compartment and out to here and I'm about to prepare them to actually connect them to the chip. We now very carefully solder the wires to the chip. Again, something takes a little bit of nerve because the positions are very small. It's almost a case of touch and go. And you just need to check that you've actually got a good soldered joint. Having attached all the wires that come from the rear of the vehicle, we now need to attach those that are at the front. So we've now completed linking most of the wires up to the decoder chip and here I've actually stuck down the small piece of copper clad with the junctions for both the indicators and for the common positive. All that remains to be done is the linking up their hall sensor. Hall sensor connected, all wiring done. Now the body just needs to be replaced on top of the chassis and then it's effectively finished. But before that we'll probably test it. So just a quick test to ensure it's working. So headlamps, yep, all working indicators yep everything seems to be working fine just need to add some of the details I took off and then the model is complete now a quick final check just to make sure the vehicle is working
So with the vehicle having been reprogrammed with the automatic bus stopping system, the vehicle is now complete.